All right, so I'll be solving determine if the two strings are close and you might be wondering how to code these two operations and actually you don't have to because first of all it's going to be very hard to do these operations and like try to match this word with this word it's going to be like dynamic programming but from these operations we can deduce three conditions that we can implement relatively easily okay and this post has done it well okay so first thing is that both of our strings lengths have to be the same like if it's abc and cba it's length three right so it has to be the same and the frequency of char needs to be same for both strings so no matter if it's like a has been seen four times or two times if a and b like the frequency like is the same then we can uh, do this two operations swap and transform and make our strings close okay and the last third condition is that that there has to be unique char in both strings so you can see a b c z p exists here so a c a b c z p has to exist in string two if they are close because if not we can't really like swap we can't swap if there's no char in that string so that makes sense so i'm gonna do two ways um this method is gonna be a little bit more inefficient but it's easier to understand so first of all let's write the first condition it's not equal to word to dot length there's no way so return false okay and we're gonna use a hash map to store the character the that the characters in our strings and the frequency as the values so map one equals new hash map for both strings and we have to do for char c in word one dot to char a we have to convert it to char a to iterate through it we're gonna put remember put is key and value so we put as i've said the key would be the character itself and the value would be get all default um, c or zero plus one so when it runs the first time it will be zero right because there's no value for this key but the subsequent values will keep on being added so if it's one that's saved then it's going to plus one so it's going to be two uh map one and same we have we're going to do the same thing for our <coughs> second word map two uh i'm missing map one map two okay Mm -hmm. Okay, so our maps have been created and first uh, we're going to check the keys so if there's actually unique this condition um, if there's unique char so if there's like 5 unique chars it should have 5 unique the same unique chars in that string and remember our characters are stored in the keys so we can get that through a key set so remember map.key set keys oh not keys but key set so if um map1.key set doesn't equal map2.key set then return false because we have to get we have to have the same unique chops but if not we go to the final condition checking the um, frequency of the chops and for that uh, we have to get the um, values through the i mean the frequency through the values of the hash map so let's get that by adding that in the constructor to create a real list so list of integer lit 
uh, let's say frequency list one equals new array list and we're gonna pass in that values the frequencies and same here frequency list 2 would be mapped to the values and remember that our frequency is not necessarily sorted so that's gonna be a pain in the ass so let's sort it collections.sort frequency list 1 same thing for so it's gonna go descending I mean ascending and we return if frequency list 1 equals frequency list 2 uh, let's see uh, that one the key set equals I think it's an S mm -hmm. so the three conditions have been implemented but as you can see it's not really fast because we're using a lot of space and we're, the sort is all n log n so it's inefficient so what we can do is the harder way okay, first dot length is not equal to word two dot length immediately it's false this time we don't create a hash map to contain the frequency we actually create just a regular array of size 26 because there are 26 alphabets same for array 2 okay and uh, we process this word so for characters character n word 1.2 char array okay okay once we get this character we have to convert that to integer so um, um, word one the index would be we get for example it's like alphabet D the ASCII value has to be subtracted by ASCII value of A to convert it to zero so um, C minus ASCII value of A okay oh sorry it's array one I zoomed out a little bit and same we have to process word 2 and array 2. Okay, so we have the frequencies. And for example, let's take this um, case. So our array 1 would contain um, 2a, 3b, and 1c, and blah, 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 until 26. And okay, comment it out. And array two would be one, two, three, zero, 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 blah, blah, blah. Okay. Now, how do we check this two conditions if we if we have unique or the frequency? Well, we don't want to use a sort, but actually, we can create another frequency count array, and let's create that so we get the um, int n equals word one dot length and we create a frequency count but this one's gonna be length I mean not length but size of n plus one so the word of the length not till 26 alphabets and you'll see why frequency count two equals n plus one okay now, let's iterate through our array, our 26 indexes in our array. So for int i equals 0, less than 26, i plus plus. Uh, why is it? Okay. And if array 1 has a value that's greater than 0, so for example here, okay. We add 
to the index of this frequency count uh, array 1 i we increment that so how this oh wait let me add one more condition so this counts the frequency of our characters properly and we also have to check whether there's unique characters in both strings right and if it's like zero here it means that there's no a in our array uh, in word 2 so we can simultaneously check this condition if array 2 is zero then we return false so it breaks out of the loop for loop um faster okay so okay just to show you frequency frequency count one count one would be of size um zero to index five let's say one zero 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 so six zeros because word has length of six and when this loop runs, array 1i, that's value of 2. So this will be added 1. Okay. And frequency count 2. So basically, array 1 and array 2 counts the frequency of the alphabets. But frequency count arrays count the frequency of that frequency. So let me write this array one and array two counts counts the frequency of the characters itself, but frequency count and frequency count 2 counts the frequency of array oh how should I say frequency of this value so remember this um, this thing we're calculating I mean we're counting how many frequency values there are because we don't really have to match a and a with 4 and 2 right we just have to know if we have the same frequency if we have three ones one two and one or four that's all it matters so we're doing that so counts the frequency of um, the frequency of characters so frequency of frequency and same if we encounter sorry array 2 is greater than 0 yeah then frequency of count 2 array 2 is incremented and same here if it's not if the unique character is not visible in our word 1 then that would be 0 like here so we return false okay so if all of our code managed to run till here then we go to our final step, which is matching the frequency of char for both the um, so basically calculate uh, matching this values. So for in i equals zero, i less than n. <coughs> if frequency count one. I so that if that value is not equal to frequency count to I then we return false and we've checked all our three conditions if so if we get till here then we know it's true so right. oh increment the value Okay. Okay. So just 
um, reinforcing this point so we get um, so this runs and this free array 2 1 so 1 is added here and it all matches so index of 2 3 1 goes up so just like 1 and 1 so that means that there's um basically frequency of characters are matching properly if this matches and this is pretty more uh, this is not pretty but definitely much more efficient than sorting this right away okay so i'll see you guys next time